<laughs> What's going on, brothers and sisters? Thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed. We're back with another video today. In this film, we'll be doing a Q&A. You guys gave me the questions, and I am giving you the answers. That's what I called Q and an A. Question one: What is your favorite Saints Row game? If you have played the franchise. I have played the franchise. I've only played like two missions or two. Uh, I did beat three. I did beat four. But if I had to choose a favorite one, it would be Saints Row Third. Saints Row Third, it was just really fun. Uh, the graphics were great. It brought a, a nice, good story to the Saints Row series. It was fun playing co-op as well. There was a lot of stuff you can do, a lot of characters you can play as, like costumes and stuff. Um, my favorite was the, uh, the Make Time Fun Guy, the cat. I forgot his name, but uh, his costume was my favorite. But yeah, Saints Row Three has to be one of the best Saints Rows I've ever played. Oh, <coughs> can't forget about Shandy. Question number two, what made you start streaming? And what was your mindset when you start to stream as a future streamer? It's a good question. That's a separate question. So to answer both of your questions, the last part, it's a good question. Yeah, that's a good question. Second part to so your entire question was, I started streaming because I had over 300 games and I was only recording like one at a time. The amount of time it takes to record, sit down and edit, and then upload just one part out of an entire like game series took forever. So I thought, why not just live stream everything so I can get the entire campaign and game done and out the way like that instead of like spending days and weeks and weeks on just one game and then doing it again for another game just because i have to sit down edit you know it takes a lot of time to edit it takes depending on the part or depending on how much stuff i want to put into the video it could take between two to ten hours to edit just one video it depends on how long it is so things like that along that nature and that's the reason why because for example a few years ago when i played resident evil 7 i only played like four or five parts before i I just live streamed the rest of the game because I did those parts in a matter of two months because it was a lot of edit and I had a lot of stuff to do. Uh, so I didn't have the time to spend between two and 10 hours a day. Live streaming just makes everything a lot more easier. And the mindset when going into streaming, just play the game. Uh, that's my mindset on everything. I'm gonna upload a video, I'm gonna upload a picture to like Instagram. It, it doesn't matter. I don't care about people's opinions. And that's the reason why my, my mindset is just positive, bro. If you wanna upload something, upload it. What, someone named John Johnny567 is going to be like, yo, dude, this video sucks. Well, why do you care what Johnny567 has to say? He has nothing to do with your life. If he says something, is that going to change your life? Is that one small comment from Johnny567 going to destroy your entire career and make you go into a deep state where you have no idea what to do in your life? One person out of 7 billion people on this earth that just said one negative thing. So you're going to let the negative outweigh the positive? Don't do that. Just have a positive mindset. Do what you want to do. Do what you love to do. Do what makes you happy and you'll be set to go question number three when did you first start playing video games what age i first started playing games i believe i was four or five years old my very first console was the gamecube and i think also the same year or the year after i was uh, given my older cousin's game boy not the game boy advance just the old game boy yeah around about like four or five years old is when i started playing games and i've been playing ever since Question number four, if I had to fight in the military and you only have one weapon, what would I choose? Kind of weird, just interested. So we're talking about any gun in the world, right? Any gun, just any gun in the world. Oh, one side switch to video games. Now, if I had a video game gun that I can use, it would be the Wonderwaff DG3. I would, it's over, it's over. They, they can't stand a chance, I'll go past them. And it'll be done. Uh, but if it's a real gun that I would use or a real weapon I would use, the only weapon I would probably stick around with is the Mini Uzi. I've always been a fan of the Mini Uzi since I was like seven, eight years old. I've always been fascinated with the gun. The reason why I was because uh, in GTA 4, when it was introduced in GTA 4, and there was like that submachine gun you can pick up from enemies, I love that gun. That's the only gun I use. And every time it's in a game or every time I see it, it just like, it, it's still my favorite until this day. I have a gold in Modern Warfare and that was my very first weapon I got gold. And I still use it till today because it's still such a great weapon. I, but I've just always been fascinated with the uh, the Uzi style guns. Like the Israelians did really well with that weapon. For some reason, it just looks fantastic. Question number five, why do you like Alex Zedra? First, he has a really nice tattoo i like the tattoos i like girls with tattoos not too much tattoos like their entire body covered but like a good amount of tattoos like you know sleeves some on their legs or green eyes oh my god that's baby girl Question number six, will you give us a gaming setup tour? First, I'll give you a gaming setup tour. I think I do gaming setup tours 
once every year i'm not too sure if i did do one earlier this year but if i did not do a 2020 uh, gaming setup tour then i will provide you one very soon question number eight what's your favorite peanut butter jeff <laughs> that was a dashy reference for those of you who are fans question number eight what got you into doing youtube pewdiepie really so what happened was in 2010 i made my very first account which was in november pewdiepie didn't start blowing up until the summer of 2011 or 2013 i think it was it was somewhere around there but i subscribed to i was subscribed to pewdiepie since about i think he had two or three hundred thousand the reason why is because my best friend felix uh he, he was watching him when he reached three or four hundred thousand subscribers when you probably reached that uh that summer that like summer when he went from like small to huge like that it took him like two or three months he got like millions of subscribers it was the month before he blew up so i think he was at like like three or four hundred thousand subscribers and i subscribed to him then and i was watching his videos of like his amnesia videos and i watched a few of them and i was like yo this guy is funny and he basically has like the same games that i have because on, on my old pc i had slenderman and that was like sort of a scary game uh that he was playing and at the same time he also played amnesia a lot I was like, well, I'm gonna just do this. So I started an old channel, which is currently not available right now, uh, because back in 2013 when I made my Northside OG account, YouTube said that I couldn't have multiple accounts on one, like one Google account. And then literally the next year they were like, oh no, you can have an account. You have multiple accounts on one account. So uh, I deleted my old account for no reason. But yeah, I started in 2010 after uh, PewDiePie like was playing games. So I was like, that's what I want to do. And I actually have been doing it technically since 2010. But this channel I have right here, Northside OG, I've been doing for about about six years I, i've been loving it ever since i've been uploading videos i have over what i think like 1400 videos so i have put a lot of time and effort into this channel and i don't plan on stopping anytime soon question number nine bet why do you like alex zedra because that's baby girl question number nine low-key why do you like zero two um well here's the thing right it's just a video game character but i don't really like like zero like that you know i'm not into like that cartoon shit but any any like game character that would represent an attribute or characteristic that i like in a girl like in real life then they become a baby girl question number 10 any advice for starting youtubers here's some advice don't care what other people think upload what you want and upload what makes you happy if it makes you happy if it's what you love to do upload videos do it if you're talking about setups or anything like that you don't need an hd gaming setup you can literally have like a 480p setup um with like bad camera quality but if you're fun if you if you have a good personality and you interact with your fans they'll stick around trust me they will stick around it's when you stream or record videos it's not about it's not all about the content that you put out it's about the interaction with you and the people who support your content like if you upload videos and keep uploading and uploading and uploading but everyone's like hey how are you or you know something like that or like if you stream like when people come to the chat they say hello if you just look at the comment and then look down and start playing again they're gonna be like wow okay and they're gonna leave they don't want to talk to you but if you actually talk to people like if you're streaming uh you're like yo how you doing you know interact with them they're gonna keep coming back you know because then they see that you're a good person and they enjoy chatting with you talking with you or just being around you you know so just be yourself do what you want to do and ignore all the negative comments that come your way because it's gonna happen it happens to everybody look more at the positive not the negative question number 11 what is my favorite movie my favorite movie has to be the rush hour series but my my actual movie out of all of them is the third one the third one's the funniest it's the best one and rush hour 3 will always be one of the best most comedic movies i have ever seen in my life and i can watch that over and over and never get bored of it it is hilarious with jackie chan and chris tucker they are they are so funny together especially working together two comedians it's over that movie is so funny the last question it is what is your baby girl list well if we're talking about the ones whose dms i have slid in i'll show you megan anderson brayden charbino kendra sunderland sorati ms hole and Kendrick, Katie Catro, Baby Girl, Nicolette Shea, Billie Eilish. That's pretty much it for right now. Maybe more. But that was the Q&A session, the first one we've ever done. Well, that's the end of this video. So thank you all to everybody who asked the questions. I appreciate you guys taking the time out to, you know, ask the questions for me and for me to answer for you. Can't wait to answer some more. A ask any type. Inspirational, personal, relationship, advice in general life questions anything that you want to know that you probably have a question about or you're confused about or you don't know what to do ask it up i help you you help me we work together and thank you guys for watching this video hope you enjoyed it like always stay healthy stay sexy and i'll see you all in my next live stream or video have a great night goodbye